Two-factor authentication is just a fact of life now with most online applications now requiring it. However, there's definitely a couple of different apps you can choose from when it comes to managing it. And while Google Authenticator is probably the most popular option, Microsoft also have their own authentication app, which you may want to use. But what exactly makes it special and how exactly does it work? Well, in practice, it works like any other authentication app, generating 2FA keys for you to enter in a website or app when requested. But first off, how exactly do you set it up? While despite a name, it's not actually available on Windows, given how it's intended to be used on mobile devices. Though thankfully that's available on both Android and iOS. You can log into it with either a Microsoft account, though you can also use, say, your Google or Facebook account. However, there are benefits to using your Microsoft account, given how it enables additional things, like for example, not needing a password when logging in to said account. So that's definitely one benefit of using that when logging in. Once you have downloaded the app, it will guide you through all of the steps to actually set it up, whether you're using your Microsoft or non-Microsoft account. Once it has been set up, the process is then pretty simple. You can then go to whichever website or app you're trying to log into and it will usually give you some option to enable 2FA. It then can either show you a QR code right off the bat where you need to say select which authentication app you want to use and then select Microsoft Authenticator from that list before it shows you that QR code. Then once you have scanned it, that account is now linked to Microsoft Authenticator. So you can then use that app to generate 2FA codes whenever it asks for it. So you can enter that and log in to your profile. If you've got a new phone, for example, and you want to serve Microsoft Authenticator on it, simply just log into that account again and all of your accounts will be carried over. So you don't have to do much or keep that old device on hand just for those 2FA keys. So hopefully you found this video explaining exactly what Microsoft Authenticator is and what it can do helpful. You can definitely give it a go if any of this sounds convenient to you, given how it is totally free. So if you found this video helpful, maybe subscribe to How to Authority for more like this in the future.